Hello everyone, my name is Braden Girard, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a provider as an authentication method in Strapi. So Strapi allows you to set custom providers, example, Google, Discord, AWS, Cognito, things like that. They also support many more. But today we're gonna to look at specifically Discord and how you can integrate Discord as an authentication provider in Strapi. So I have a new Strapi project here. I've, all I've done is set up the default account so we'll do an npm run develop and get that running. And then we will also go over here. I have another repo here, which is the login react uh, demo repo from Strapi's examples repo on GitHub. So as you can see, it's just got a basic react project here. We can run that by running, uh, giving the environment variable react at backend URL, passing that in so it knows where the Strapi backend is located. Uh, and then we can start this login demo. So we're going to be using the connect to discord demo button here um, once we get that set up. So here's our default Strapi installation. If we look here, we have no content types, just the default user content type. And inside of our content manager, there's no users yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the settings in Strapi and we'll go to our providers down here. And you can see by default, the email provider is enabled so you can register accounts with an email and password. We wanna also be able to log in uh, with a Discord account. So here we'll change this to be enabled. And then we need some information here. We need a client ID, we need a client secret, and we need a redirect URL to, for the front end app. So first let's go and get ourselves a client ID and client secret. So what you'll have to do is log into your developer Discord account so if you have a Discord account, you can log in at discord.com forward slash developers. And uh, we're in specifically the applications area right now. In the applications area, you can create a new application right here. And we'll just call this Strapi Demo. And we'll create that application. You can fill out a bunch of information here, like an app icon, description, tags, stuff like that. But all we really care about for the purposes of this demo is the OAuth2 section here. So you'll have a client ID and secret, which are these two. So let's copy those over right now. So I'll put the client ID in here. So we got the client ID, let's get the secret. So if we just click reset secret and say, yes, do it. And here's our client secret. So we'll copy that and bring that over here. And then we have to set the redirect URL to our front end application, this whole URL. So it's gonna be HTTP localhost 3000 forward slash connect discord redirect. That's what the React demo path is gonna be for the redirect once we log in. So we will save that. Now our Discord provider is enabled. There's one last thing we have to do over here on, disc, on the Discord application is we have to allow a redirect here. Um, so we're gonna add a redirect and in that redirect field, we wanna add in the URL on our API. So that's gonna be localhost 1337 forward slash API forward slash connect Discord callback. If we go over here and we look at the provider, we can see that that is the uh, redirect URL that they want us to use here. So we set that on our Discord application uh, as an allowed redirect location, and we hit save changes. And now everything is done on the application side here for Discord. If we go back over to Strapi, we've set all of our settings. So now we can go into our React app here and we can try connecting to Discord. So if we click connect to Discord, it's gonna take us to the Discord login page. Are you sure you wanna authorize your account? Yes, authorize. You've been successfully logged in. You'll be redirected in a few seconds. And there we go. Now we're back at our localhost 3000 homepage and it says, welcome Javadad. Uh, that's my Discord username. Uh, you are connected and you can log out. And then you could log back in again if you wanted to. So that's all there is to it to set up a provider with Strapi. Each provider has slightly different steps to get client IDs and secrets and whatnot. Sometimes different providers call them different things, but you can always go through however you would set up an application on any of these providers on their end, get your credentials that you need that Strapi requires for um, the application to work with Strapi as a provider, put those credentials in, set up some redirect URLs, and it's basically the same process for each of these providers. And if we go over now and look at our content manager, we can see that under users, we now have a user that is associated to my Discord account. So here it is. It's got the email from my Discord account um, and it's got the username from my Discord account. Uh, and
and that's linked uh, as a discord login so there's no password set here and that's all there is to it to setting up a custom provider with strappy